Welcome everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So to get started, we're going to drag down and open our settings. And in the settings we're going to click general. So once we're in general, you're going to go down and click security. In security, we're going to check mark unknown sources. You're going to get this message and click OK. So now we're going to go into our internet browser, go to Google and search towel root. Right here. And on Tal Root, we're going to open the first one, Tal Root by GeoHut. Once it opens, we're going to hold down this icon and click Save Link. Once you click Save Link, it's going to download right here, tr.apk. We're going to open that and install it. We're going to get another message. All we're going to do is click accept and again I understand install and that's it we're going to open it and once you open the application you're going to click make it rain wait a couple seconds and this is what you're going to get thank you for using tall root you should have root no reboot required what I, what I always suggest is once you root the phone, you should reboot once. It only takes a couple extra seconds. So we're going to restart. Phone has restarted. And now we're going to open up our Play Store. So once we open up the Play Store, we're going to search Super SU. We're going to download the first one, Super SU by Chainfire. We're going to install it. Set. So after it's been installed, we're going to open and we're going to continue with the update. And since I don't have any recovery on my Note 3, we're just going to install it normally. So you might get this message about Samsung Knox. All you're going to do is OK to disable it and let it disable. And in a few more seconds, so if it's stuck on disabling Knox for over a minute, all we're gonna do is restart the phone again. So after the phone's been restarted, we're going to go in apps and find our Super SU and open it. And we're going to go through the same process again, click OK. And this time it's been successfully disabled. So we're going to click OK. So as you can so as you can see your phone has been rooted. And that's how easy it is. You don't need any computer. You just need your phone. That's about it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video. And please don't forget to like and comment.
and leave any suggestions and if you and if you do like my videos please don't forget to subscribe thank you